How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. This is the second informational video on the Hot Wheels expansion which is releasing next month. We're going to quickly be talking about a few details slash features that I missed out of my first video along with five new cars which have been spotted within the trailer which wasn't mentioned in my previous video along with some gameplay that we received of the expansion in the Xbox Extended Showcase just a couple of hours ago. If you do enjoy this video guys and it's very helpful please do consider subscribing. I do stuff like this all the time. Let's get into it. Now, now I'll say off the bat the gameplay is only about 20 seconds long so it's not really that exciting but it's still something new so I'm going to add it to this video anyway. As I said in the Xbox Extended Showcase as you can see on screen we had Mike Brown talking about the expansion and they didn't he didn't actually tell us anything new but on screen he showed us some slight gameplay snippets in five second segments. I think we totaled about 27 to 30 seconds of gameplay so that's on screen right now if you want to see a bit of gameplay of Hot Wheels this is what we have have got so far and this is everything we've seen there's not actually much to point out in the gameplay other than the map looks really cool what else is there to say it's kind of underwhelming that we got gameplay in this manner just sort of snippets of it if i was to guess i'd say this gameplay is possibly the starting mission or maybe a showcase event because as you can see we seem to be racing some kind of stealth bomber jet thing across the map which is usually the type of mission you get in a starting mission and if you look at the map all of the roads aren't discovered so this is probably the first mission we get to do within Hot Wheels racing this big stealth bomber type thing through the map other than that there's not really anything else to spot in the gameplay now let's talk about some of the other cars which have been spotted to return to the game which weren't mentioned in my previous video as you can see on screen these are the 10 cars that I spoke about in the previous video that have been confirmed to be coming to the game. Now there are actually more than that. There have been five other cars spotted within the trailer or screenshots that weren't mentioned in the blog post which means that these cars could potentially be coming back to the game as well. There's no official word on it but there's, they're shown in the screenshots so we can only presume. The 2005 Hot Wheels Ford Mustang is very clearly back in the game in the screenshots we can see on screen. The 1949 Hot Wheels Ford F5 Julie Custom Hot Rod. This is once again spotted in screenshots slash the trailer. I'm gonna have footage on screen of where these cars were actually spotted. We have the 2018 Hot Wheels 2 Jet Z or 2JZ, I don't know, I think it's got a 2JZ engine, I think it's why it's called that, but that car is returning back to the game. 1957 Hot Wheels Nash Metropolitan Custom is also spotted in the trailer and screenshots. Is this returning to the game as well? We can probably presume so. And then last but not least, the 2012 Hot Wheels Rip Rod. This car has also been spotted in the screenshot slash trailer. So those are five Hot Wheels cars that maybe will be coming to the game, whether we are maybe going to get these for free or if we're gonna to have to buy them or win them, we don't know. They might not actually come at all, but they are in the screenshots, so we can presume so. Now, a few of the things that I forgot to mention in my first video I did, there are obviously going to be some Hot Wheels dedicated accolades in the game once it's out. There are going to be bonus boards scattered around the Hot Wheels map, presumably fast travel boards and XP boards, there are going to be floating pinata collectibles, new PR stunts and new Hot Wheels seasonal events which will go towards your festival playlist completion. Now this makes me very curious as I'm not sure how it would work if you don't have the Hot Wheels pack. Can you still do the full festival playlist? Not entirely sure. Now I mentioned in my first video that there was going to be a Horizon story or sort of a campaign mode for the Hot Wheels. Now it was mentioned that you are going to be able to do this whole thing on co-op. In a first for Forza, you can join up with your friends and play from the very start of the experience oh, okay. in co-op. You and your friends will then take on a new campaign, moving your way up through faster and faster car classes until you unlock the extreme speed of X-Class. As a co-op campaign mode sort of thing, which sounds pretty cool. And unfortunately, we didn't actually get any new info in that stream I mentioned earlier. We were hoping for it, but we didn't get any. All we got was the snippets of gameplay, which I'll pop again on screen. Mike Brown actually said the whole reason that we got the Hot Wheels expansion again from Horizon 3 was the fact that it was a fan favourite and everyone used to go along about how a much of a good expansion it was. Here's what he said. Let's start with why the team decided to bring Hot Wheels to Forza Horizon 5's Mexico. Our fans have been telling us for years about how much they loved Forza Horizon 3's Hot Wheels expansion. 
So we've been waiting for the right time to bring everyone another Hot Wheels adventure. Forza Horizon 5 presented the perfect opportunity to bring Hot Wheels to life like never before with the power of the Xbox Series X and S. And I'm not going to lie, I, th I think he's right. I think it is one of the best expansions so far, but I don't think, in my opinion, it was a big enough of a deal to bring it back again. I think we much would have preferred something different. Now, when it comes to collaborations like this between Hot Wheels and Forza, I'm sure if I was to guess, money is involved at some point between each party. And this might have had an influence on their decision to bring Hot Wheels back again. Maybe it was just too tempting. I'm not sure. As for Hot Wheels news, that is everything we know right now. In some other very quick Forza news, Forza.net is a new Forza dedicated website that they have very, very recently just brought out. It's just a revamped Forza hub basically where you can see horizon based news, motorsport based news, the forums are on there as well and you can also check out your in-game sort of stats and screenshots if you log in to your to your Xbox account. So I just thought it was worth mentioning as on this channel we, we sort of mention everything news related. Again I want to know your opinions on this in the comment section below. What are you thinking about the Hot Wheels update? Are you glad or were you hoping for something different? That's basically it for this video, guys. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed, everyone. Subscribe if you haven't already for more Horizon 5 content, and I'll see you all later.